So I've been working through this six million dollar man, got all the boards back in there and just uh, doing this display test. And all the displays are working pretty well except for this one right here. You see the bottom left segment is not working on any of them. That's almost surely fixable. It's one of two things, either one of the SERs that controls that segment, it, and it controls that segment for all the, the digits. Either that, that uh, transistor is bad, or the chip, on the, the chip on the board is bad. But it's probably not the chip, because if the chip was bad, it would probably affect all the segments and not just that one segment. Usually that would be the case. So I'm gonna pull that board and I'm gonna swap out that, uh, I'm not sure if it's a transistor or SCR, but I'm gonna swap it out either way, whatever it's called. So I pulled up the schematic on the computer for these uh, Bally six digits displays and uh, here's kind of a diagram of the digits. It's our, it's our E segment is not working. So you scroll over here and find our E and a little transistor is Q17. So that's our that's the one that we're looking for that we suspect is bad. So we come over here to the board, and this one's a little bit different than normal. Normally there'd be three rows of transistors, but this one's got what would normally be two rows if they're all in the middle row. So we gotta find Q17 on here. It looks like it's right. So it's the third one from the end. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a diode test on that transistor and we'll see what we get. But I suspect that that one is bad. Uh, so we'll see here. So I get my multimeter and diode test and I'm going to start with uh, testing this one that's working. I know that's 0.7 and to 0.7. Uh, those two, here's the one that's suspect and it is 0.7 and 0.7 so it it's testing good uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's working uh, it's that's about a 95% chance or it's even higher than that probably except for the fact that we know that something is wrong so you know uh, I'm gonna swap it out anyway and uh, hope that it fixes it but I'm you know chances are not super high but uh Sometimes the diode test doesn't work, especially in circuit, uh, but it's, we'll see. Uh, I wish it would have tested poorly, but it did not. Uh, but, but sometimes the diode test is not 100%, so we'll see. So I got that new transistor soldered in there. It's a MPS A42, and I'm going to throw it in the machine and see what happens here. So the game's booting up right now. I can already see that it did not solve our problem. Uh, yep. So I was suspected that was not the problem. And uh, so I already looked at all the resistors on that circuit also, and they're not bad. Uh, take it back to the bench and look a little bit more. So I didn't see anything on the bench, so I thought I'd bring it all back over here on the and uh, test a little bit more. I got my logic probe out here. So it's pin 13 is feeding that 13. So this is nine right there basically the the game's going between the zeros and nothing so that that some of these segments are turning on and off so when it's just solid low it's not it's not doing anything when it's pulsing it's got so that's 9 10 11 12 13 so just like the rest of them that chip is sending the output out i've gone through all the circuitry with the multimeter it's all good uh so next thing i'm gonna do is go through it with the uh with the little pocket oscilloscope and see if we're getting the signal out to the pin so the pin in question is this one with the plus sign i just got a parallel pin that's basically the, another segment is one two pins over there that's also marked with a, just a check mark so i'm gonna Put my probe on here and uh, I'm going to start with the one that's working first. You can say it's reading, a, you know, when it's pulsing on, it's reading a signal of about four and a half, five volts. But this is uh, set on times times 10, so that's 50 volts. Uh, fairly spiky. If I put it on the, uh, move it over here to the, the questionable one, the one that we're concerned about. Uh, 
see a nice square wave. I mean, it's actually a little bit higher. Uh, I believe what's going on is that, is that basically it's got the perfect wave because there's no current and it's just dead ended. So basically we're getting the signal to the pin. It's just not passing through the glass. So we have a uh, open segment somewhere in the glass and not much we can do about that. So uh, this is a not non-fixable problem, unfortunately. So this would be a player four, well, a $6 million man. This would be a player six display or trash. Uh, I think I'd probably put it on a player six. Uh, it's all right. How often do you play, do a six player game? Uh, hoping to fix it. Normally you would, but not this time, unfortunately. Anyway, take care. Cheers.